Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. One of my favorite times of the year to film out in the field is during hay season. The smell of fresh cut hay is hard to beat. Whether it's alfalfa, grass, oats, or red clover, seeing machinery mowing down hay, raking and baling is always exciting. In this video, I wanted to share with you some of my favorite classic open station tractors making hay. These machines are working on different farms, but I thought it would be interesting to highlight the different vintage tractors at work and go through the process of each step of mowing, tedding, raking, and baling hay. So let's head out to the field so you can see all this machinery in action. The first step in making hay is to mow it. Here we can see a 74 horsepower Alice Chalmers 185 tractor working with a New Holland 499 roller reel haybine. This haybine has a 12 foot cut and leaves a 9 foot swath. The New Holland 499 roller reel is an interesting type of mower. It uses converging tines to sweep the crop in, pulling it into a 12 foot sickle that cuts the crop and then the crop falls into two rubber chevron rollers that condition the crop by breaking the stems and helping the moisture to begin escaping. This machine leaves a nine foot swath behind that will start to dry in the sun. The second step in haymaking is tedding. This helps speed up the drying process. Here we can see a 92 horsepower Oliver 1850 tractor working in Kentucky with a four star Coon tedder. The tedder is set up with four stars that have tines on them that spin the windrows and spread them out. By spreading out the material, it helps the sun further dry down the moisture level and prepare the crop for baling. Hay mowing and tedding typically take place on the same day, mowing in the morning and then tedding in the afternoon to accelerate the drying process. Then the farm returns to the field the next day with a hay rake to windrow the hay and prepare it for baling. Here we can see a 110 horsepower Minneapolis Moline G1050 tractor with a Vermeer VR1022 wheel rake raking alfalfa in Iowa. The raking process helps bring the moisture down just a little bit more before the baler collects the hay. 
In this case, the field has already been raked once and the moisture was still a little high, so they're running over those windrows one more time just to flip them and get the last bit of moisture off the hay. Once the hay has been windrowed and allowed to dry in the sun for a little while, the farm will come to the field in the afternoon with a hay baler. Here we can see a 56 horsepower Case 770 Agriking tractor running a New Holland BC 5070 Hayliner square baler making 14 by 18 bales in Kentucky. As the tractor and baler go along, the baler drops the bales in the field where they'll be collected by a New Holland stack cruiser. The baler is equipped with a small liquid tank and that tank applies a citric acid to the hay that helps prevent it from molding when it's in storage. Following not too far behind the K770 Agriking tractor and the New Holland BC5070 Hayliner is a New Holland 1069 Stack Cruiser. This 240 horsepower machine will collect 160 bales per trip. It cruises along in the field collecting each bale and putting them into a big block which it will carry to a waiting truck that will haul the bales away to a barn or to a hay sale.
I hope you've enjoyed following the hay season along, watching these classic open station tractors make hay, mowing, tedding, raking, and baling. It's always exciting to see this machinery at work, and if you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well, so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.